All right, today we are swapping out these outdated toggle light switches for some newer, more modern rocker switches. But before we do anything with the actual switch itself, uh, we need to go to the panel and kill the power. Always, always test it to make sure. Never just assume because the light doesn't work that, uh, that you successfully killed both switches or all three or four, depending on how many are in the box. Unscrew the top and the bottom. The switches luckily are universal in size, so the new rocker switches should fit uh, in there perfectly. Gently pull out the switch and assess what you're looking for, or assess what you're looking at rather. We've got one grounding wire at the top indicated by the green screw, and then three black wires, two at the bottom, one in the top. Uh, they look white because they've been painted, but they're actually all three uh, going to be black. So. We're going to start by taking this apart, unscrewing the grounding wire at the top, again indicated by the green screw and it's usually naked, it's not black, white, uh, or have any red uh, color or sheathing to it. Pull it off, and pull it to the side, it's really important to make sure you remember what came from which terminal. The bottom wires there are the line wires. That is the that is where power is actually coming into the switch from the service panel um, so we're going to want to make sure that the line wires go back into that terminal and the load there at the top that actually carries uh, electricity to maybe another outlet or another switch so mixing them up isn't a huge deal it'll still work and function it's mainly more uh, for GFCI protected outlets but for another day. If they don't pull out, you'll need to put a little screwdriver into the release um, square. There's a portion of the back of the switch that allows you to put a small screwdriver in to release the wire. So we've got the ground wire at the top, the load uh, in the middle, and then at the bottom we've got both of the line wires. We're going to take the new rocker switch. You can see the clean white uh, just looks so much better than that uh, manila toggle switch. And if you're not sure, always read the instructions for where the load uh, is and which one the line is. Green screw, again, is always going to be your grounding, so um, pinch it on nice and tight and then screw it down nice and tight. Your load wire is usually going to be at the top. Um, but again, if it doesn't indicate on the switch, just confirm it with the uh, instructions that it came with. So I'm going to take the load, and there's two ways you can do it. You can wrap it around the screw where there's a small circular hole. Uh, if the wire fits in the hole, I'll always just, for simplicity, shove it right back in. It's nice and easy. Um, same with this one. Hand is kind of getting in the way of the camera, but um, that line wire is going to uh, be pushed right back down into that circular hole and I'm going to wrap the other uh, line wire around the uh, screw. Um, pinch it down nice and tight and and then uh, take the screwdriver and screw it down nice and tight. You don't want it loose or, or have any ability to, to come apart. So you can see um, that bottom line wire is wrapped around nice, nice and tight. Screw it down, and that's it. If you've done it correctly, uh, the light switch or the outlet uh, will work correctly. And I had plans to do both toggle switches, but um, after pulling the second one, uh, the second one out, realized that there is actually nothing that it is connected to. So it was just kind of a dummy one sitting there. I didn't really want to deal with it, so after debating for a little bit, I was like, I'll just put another dummy one back in because I don't have a different faceplate. You can buy a faceplate that'll cover that up, or you can just reconstruct the, put one, uh, put it in one box or instead of a, a dual box there. But um, put the faceplate back on and that's how good it looks and how much better it looks. You can see it's much more clean, modern, updated, and uh, just an overall better look to the room.